Gosh, you haven't been here in a while. It's been a long time. It has been a yeah. long time. Pre-pandemic? Like, since you actually sat in here. I mean, you've been over a lot, but I don't think we've done any content. I can't since. remember if we've done any content. I don't remember the last content we did. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah, all right. Shut up. You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan. And John. John is back. It has been a while. So, I had to bring in John as the beer expert. Uh, ironically, uh, we chose a beautiful beer today from uh, Iron Ox, which I happen to have uh, a little bit of their merch. I'm a big Iron Ox fan. live about uh, three quarters of a mile from their place. It's, uh, it's my go-to. Nice. So, I had this idea walking through the grocery store one day that... There is all these really awesome pop culture themed beers. And I thought, we're all about pop culture here. We could review beers. And, but here's the problem. I'm not a beer drinker. <laughs> so I thought I could at least look at the artwork on these cans and talk about how cool I think it is. And then John is here to tell me if I like the beer or not. I like right. beer. <laughs> But uh, maybe that's... And it's not that I, I dislike like all beer, beer, so really... I'm just not... I don't have a refined palate. It's it's beer. So, but I mm. love... This is Oximus Prime. We had to check this out because it's Optimus Prime themed. I love it. I love the artwork on the can. I want to save some of the maybe. labels. Do these... Will these peel off? Uh, oh, maybe. It feels like it. Yeah. Cool. Um, just a super cool can there. You can see it's almost like a... Uh, Beast Wars era Optimus Prime right there with the the ox ring and the nose and yeah I don't know do you want to is it do you want to say anything else yeah so uh, this is a West Coast IPA at seven point one uh, percent alcohol so it's uh, you know let's I'm curious to see how it tastes uh, this says February twelfth twenty twenty one Lunar New Year becomes the year of the metal ox so there you go. Full metal awesomeness. Blast massive amounts of dank, hoppy bitterness while defending the universe. This, I don't even know what that, does that say, it looks like it says, go! <laughs> uh, unfiltered West Coast has copious amounts of Laurel, Simcoe, and Strata Strong. Danky West Coast, Crusher, Oximus Prime, the projector of all that is hoppy. All right, there you go. I'm in. Let's give it a shot. All right, one for the money. So <clears throat> here in our, uh, you know, ooh, that's already. That's how beer goes. There we go. That's enough. Is it enough? Yeah. All right. Did it's we say it's seven point one percent? Five o'clock somewhere. That's right. Um. You know, and of course, the yes, whole drink good. responsibly and all that stuff. Too. Yes. Cheers. Don't drink Finally, we got around to this. It smells good. Yeah, I can smell the hops. That's not bad. No, it's got it's got just a nice level of bitterness. Yeah. So. And it's it, it's bitter and smooth at the same time. Yeah. How's that for a beer Tasty. review? Yeah. <laughs> Go get some. If you can find it, get it. Mm-hmm. I just wonder if brewed can by Iron Ox Brewing. You know, like Oliver's has all these craft brews and local breweries uh, uh, beers, and I just wonder if it's not the same beer that they relabel. <clears throat> I mean, I know each brewery has different beers, but I wonder if you went to go buy this now, if it would be the same beer but with a different. Because I don't think they still have Oximus Prime. I haven't seen this on yeah, the shelf so, since I bought this. So they they go through different brews, and whenever they change the formula or the the ingredients, they'll um, change the name. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, these are just local. Like it's literally like a big garage operation. I mean, it's big time, and they make great beers. But this is like brewing at home on a large scale. So they they brew something for a while. They have a few things that they brew like all the time. They're really popular stuff. Plow Pilsner is one of their big ones. That's one of my favorites. Um, but this is just something that they'll do a short run, and um, you know they may come back to it. You know, if people are requesting Oximus Prime. This is tasty. I like this. 
just I really like the can. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so much fun. Yeah. That's one of those like I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything that really grabbed my attention. There's a lot of cool cans and things, but pop culture wise, I haven't seen uh, anything that really grabbed my attention like this one has. Of course, being a Transformer fan, it's hard to hard to, hard to walk past like this, that, yeah. right? I'm not a huge fan of the nose ring, but uh, that mm. fits with the ox, right? That's it, man. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. But well, I like it. Good looking can. Great tasting right. beer. Iron Ox. Yeah. Oximus Prime. Cool. Oximus Prime. Well, hey, thanks for uh, hanging out with us after hours and trying this out, and we'll do more in the future. Beer is good. Beer is gone. Ooh. All right, see you guys later. Till next time, be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, it's bigger than any superstar. All of us spit you some, some real to a bar. Some them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.